The medical school curriculum lasts one and a half years. One, one and a half years, okay? That's one and a half years to learn everything that you need to know about medicine, to start doing rotations, and ultimately to become a doctor. Now you might know a med student, you might not know a med student, but trust me, we are all human, okay? I've checked my heartbeat with this stethoscope multiple times to make sure this is not all a big dream. Um, but, you know, after I wipe away all the tears that are rolling down my chest from all the studying that I have to do on a daily basis, I could make out like the most subtle hint of a heartbeat. So I'm pretty sure I'm human. We're all human. So how do we learn that vast amount of information in such a small amount of time? The answer to that is we have to use our resources. There are a lot of resources that we use as med students, but the most important one, at least for me, and I believe for most other med students, is cartoons. Let me explain. For those of you who've never experienced medical school, you've probably never heard of Sketchy Medical. For those of you that have been to medical school or are in medical school, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about when I say Sketchy is the holy grail of efficient studying. I've talked about Sketchy in a few of my videos and I use it religiously, but I've never really shown you how it works. So I think it's time. Now, before I move on with the video and start showing you how it really works, I just wanna mention this video is sponsored by Sketchy and they're letting me do a giveaway. This is my first giveaway on the channel. Um, so stick around to the end of the video and I'll, I'll show you guys what that's all about and how to enter the giveaway. All right, let's dig into it. Now, Sketchy Medical covers three broad topics. There's Sketchy Micro, which is the, the, the bugs that cause diseases. There's Sketchy Farm, which is like the drugs that, that cure the diseases. And then there's Sketchy Path, which is uh, like diseases. There's a lot of diseases in medicine, if you haven't noticed. Now, among these three broad categories, Sketchy Micro is by far my favorite. A little secret, by the way, Sketchy Micro is usually everyone's favorite. So let me just jump in and show you an example video. Now, this is the video for Chagas disease, okay? This also happens to be one of my favorite videos from Sketchy. Now, when you see this for the first time, and when I saw pictures like this for the first time, I was like, what's going on? Why is there a couple making out? PDA, get that out of my life. I don't need that right now. But let me show you what's going on here, okay? You see Chez gas station in the background, okay? That's Chagas disease. That's to let you know what we're talking about. In every video, the scenario and what's going on kind of hints you towards the disease, the drug, the pathology, anything that's the main category for the video. Now, the main question, the elephant in the room, why is this guy making out with this girl and there's bugs following them? Well, they're making out because it comes from the kissing bug. That's how you get Chagas disease. If that's not miraculously genius, I don't know what is. Now you see those bugs on the bottom crawling up to the motorcycle? That's what the kissing bug looks like. Now right behind the motorcycle, you can see a really large colon that looks like it's kind of swollen. And that's to indicate that Chagas disease can cause mega colon. Now on the bottom left, you can see Kevin Durant. Sorry, sorry, wait, I meant you can see a snake um, and it looks like it's got a gigantic just esophageal area. What does that mean? What could that possibly indicate? Mega esophagus, one of the main symptoms that could be caused by Chagas disease. On the motorcycle, there's a little saddlebag and it's shaped like a heart and it's pretty big. What can that indicate? Dilated cardiomyopathy maybe? Dilated cardiomyopathy. Yeah, dilated cardiomyopathy. These people are genius, okay? When I'm, when I'm sitting there and I'm taking a test and Chagas disease comes up, Automatically, this picture, I see it in my head, it's so much easier to just link everything together. Now let's go back to this um, very strange couple. You know, I dig it, I like I like interracial couples, I think that's cool. Um, I don't know what the guy's wearing, it looks like he's about to go to war. This girl's rocking some, uh, some knee-high furry moccasins, right? Oh, by the way, how do you treat Chagas disease? Knee fur to mox, okay? Knee fur to mox. Listen, there's certain stuff that you can make up. This, you can't make this up. Loki though, they make all this up. But I'm telling you, there's a lot more videos like this and they all just make it so much easier to link the diagnosis, the history, the, the, you know, the illness script, the symptoms, the treatment, everything. They link it together in one video and it's so much easier when you're taking a test or even when you're like with a patient, you know, just to link it all together and you can see the whole picture instead of trying to piece it together based on just words that you learn memorization. This is kind of like when you attack the curriculum from, you know, the general standpoint, and we still have to do that, okay? I can't get by medical school watching just these videos, obviously. But when you learn, you know, the ins and outs of a disease, when you learn about the history, the prayer, you know, connecting all the pieces together, following a patient from the presentation to the diagnosis to the treatment, it takes a lot of knowledge, but what this does is it, it attacks that knowledge from a 
different standpoint from a completely new perspective and it makes it so much easier to kind of fill in those holes that you have in your brain when you can't think of something it's just coming at it from a completely different angle and it makes it so much easier to link everything together now sketchy also has this brand new thing that they came out with i think it was like a couple months ago it's the quiz section on sketchy and what they have is just thousands of questions and they quiz you on diseases, drugs, etc. And they all link back to the videos and they all show you the explanations. And this makes it really good for when you're trying to review for something like STEP or even for any exam that you have. You have all the questions there and they link it back to the pictures and it makes you really solidify that information. Now I have one final note on Sketchy before I move on to the giveaway. When I say I use Sketchy religiously, okay, I mean I use Sketchy religiously. I've listened to these people's voices for hours and days at a time. And when they called me and I talked to them, I was honestly like, I turned into a little 12 year old girl. I was like, I can't believe you know I exist. This is amazing. Now I've been hit up by a few different companies to be sponsored for a video, but if I don't use a company, I'm not gonna sponsor it, okay? I don't wanna give you guys the wrong resources, but trust me, ask any medical student if they know what Sketchy is, and I guarantee you they'll know exactly what it is and I guarantee you that they use it too. I personally like to make notes uh, on the Sketchy pictures. Uh, I have this whole OneNote page on the Sketchy pictures and I put all the pictures on there and then I make notes uh, on what things indicate on the picture. And when I'm getting like hands-on with it, it makes it a little bit easier to solidify that, that information. Um, different people use it differently, but that's the way I like to use it. So that's Sketchy. Now let's do the giveaway. All right, when I was on the phone with Sketchy, um, I kind of used the back of this paper uh, to make a mental note on what they're letting me give away. So I have three Sketchy subscriptions to give away, okay? One of them is a six month subscription. That's the ultimate package. And two of them are three month subscriptions. So there's gonna be three winners. Um, now I'm not like the most famous person on the internet. So there's actually a pretty good chance you might win this. Um, and the way to enter is subscribe to my channel, um, you have to like the video. Honestly though, you don't really have to like the video because I have no way of checking that, but if you do, I would highly appreciate it. Step number three is to follow me on Instagram. Also, don't really have to do it, but like, please do it. And then the last thing that you have to do is comment down below. You don't really have to comment anything specific. As long as you put a heart at the end of whatever you comment, I will take that as an entry into the giveaway. Just put a heart, let's spread some love. Let's get this going. And then I'm gonna run a number generator and just pick a random number after like a week and then I will contact those people and I will let them know that they've won and then they can get those uh, those free subscription. Now, just a side note from all of this, um, I've, been, I've been doing anatomy lab recently, so this semester started uh, this week and I did my first cadaver lab and I got to cut open, you know, a cadaver and that was like the best experience of my life. It felt amazing, it felt so good just to be able to like actually hands on be able to see the human anatomy in all its glory and in and, and all that formaldehyde. It was just amazing, it just hits you all at once. I have a full workout routine video coming soon, very, very soon. Um, I've been getting a lot of people hitting me up for my skincare routine. I mean, if you guys really wanna see it and the people want what they want, then I'm probably gonna make a video. Also, I got one of these recently. Um, this is an iPad and it's been a blessing in medical school. Ooh, okay. It's been a blessing in medical school and I really want to make a video on how I use my iPad because I spent like a week just doing the wrong stuff and just spending time just messing around with this thing. Completely useless, but now I know how to use it. So I'm going to make a video on that too. If you guys have any other suggestions, drop it down in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time. I'm going to go study and learn how to save some lives.